Cameron Cannon, Matt Frazier, George Arias Jr., Austin Wells. We'll start with questions. Matt, did you intentionally sit in the middle because you're the center fielder now, or did it just kind of uh, shake out that way? No, it just kind of shook out this way, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Um, Cameron and Nick, you guys have both received a lot of preseason accolades, you know, in this preseason All-America team or that one. Nick, you're on the Golden Spikes, you know, preseason watch list. How have you guys just kind of handled all that attention? Um, I mean, it's cool. I mean, I, I can probably speak for Cannon as well. Um, you know, all those preseason accolades are, you know, really cool and, um, it's kind of see, uh, kind of cool to see um, our names being with a bunch of other guys in the country who are really good at baseball. But um, I mean, at this stage, it's, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, we open up Friday, and you know, like we'd say, every game's a Super Bowl, and we're just trying to, you know, win 56 games and you know, move on to the postseason, unlike last year. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely an, an honor to to have my name up with with all those great guys. Um, all those good players, but you know we still got to go prove ourselves uh, day in and day out. So, Nick, what do you think is the biggest change in your game from last season to this season? Um, I would say just the consistency um, and definitely like my mental approach um, going into each game, whether you know it was a successful game the day before or a failure the game before. It's just moving on, and you know, uh, you know, we talk a lot about getting the next pitch, but. Once I actually decided to really buy into that, it really helped, um, and it's, it's been great. For Nick and Cameron, I guess what would it mean to you guys, as two of the older guys on the team, to make the make it back to the tournament this year? I know last year you guys were 22 and six, finished under 500 in the Pac-12 and missed the tournament. What would it mean to each of you guys to play in the postseason to get back and possibly make a deep run in the tournament? Yeah, that'd be huge. I mean, I think speaking as as older guys, we're just we're just trying to give. Um, our experience and what we've been through the last couple of years to these younger guys or, or guys who haven't been or played at the Division One level yet. So we're just doing our best to to express our experience uh, through through our two years here, and, and hopefully, you know, gives gives a little outlook on how they see things and, and helps them work hard. Yeah, um, just like you said, um, with the experience we had, you know, when we were freshmen. Um, you know, playing in Lubbock and playing postseason. Um, we know what it tastes like. Um, we know how exciting it is. Um, and a lot of the younger guys that we have this year, um, you know, they want to get there as well. And I think we have the team to do it. Um, and just to use our experience that we had through the last two seasons, regular season, not making it last year, you know, it just makes us work that much harder. Matt, same subject. What would it mean to you to you know, make it to the postseason this year and then maybe make a deep run in the postseason? Uh, definitely mean a lot of uh, the hard work we put in this year. Uh, definitely jumped up a lot from last year. So I would say it would mean a lot for this team as you can see the, the growth we made from the beginning from we got here as a team and then to now where we are. I think it would just mean a lot to this team. What did it feel like um, when, you know, you're sitting there on selection Monday last year and you know, Arizona's one of the first four out, not one of the teams in the field. What, what, what do you remember about that? Uh, it was heartbreaking, but then again, we looked back at our season, and there was, there was a lot of things we could have done differently where it wasn't really the committee. So I think it, was, it took it upon us as, as a team where, okay, this is what went wrong, and this is what we need to build from it and learn so that we don't make these same mistakes this year. And so just take every game. Every game means it's just, just as much as the other one. So we got to just have that same mindset going into every game this year, and I feel like we'll be successful this year. For the freshmen, <clears throat> what's it like just you know, a couple days away from first day of college baseball, first game? Um, I think that it's a huge excitement. Like everybody in the clubhouse, everybody on the field, it's just like kind of like this buzz that's just around the team. And going in, we feel really confident um, about our abilities, going through like the ups and downs of the fall. Um, scrimmaging, inter-squatting all throughout the spring. I think that we're in a really good spot and confident with uh, what we can do, and I think we're going to really just let or trust our abilities and go into the season. Yeah, just like Austin said, I think everyone 
is pretty excited for the season, especially us new guys. I think we just got to be able to take the game slowly. Don't try and jump ahead too much. Just focus one game at a time. And I think if we do that, we'll be we'll be pretty good. What did you guys learn most from the older guys? Not just the three sitting up here, but the rest of the whole team. Um, what have you guys taken away uh, as important lessons from them? Um, I'd say one of the like many things that just from coming from high school, coming to college, like seeing how they worked and how they react, like reacted to things, like kind of gave a better understanding for me coming in. Like, okay, this is how it's done. Like, I need to step up my game. Or, all right, like these guys, they lead by example. So I'm gonna try and lead by example as well. Yeah, um, growing up, I was watching these guys play two years ago, and now be able to be teammates with them is something unique that I take personally. And they're just great role models. Like, even though we play different positions, I find like I learn new things from them every day. And Without them, I think we'll be lost a little bit. So we're truly grateful for their leadership. And how does it feel being from Tucson, playing on the hometown team, if you want to call it? Uh, it's pretty exciting. You know, it's my dream goal to play at Arizona, to have all my friends and family be able to watch me. So I think coming here was a no-brainer for me. So. Uh, Quintana and Cannon, do y'all feel like an extra pressure just being on those watch lists, you know, preseason All-Americans, do you feel any added pressure or does it just kind of come with the territory? Um, I mean, there's always going to be pressure, especially when, you know, we're put on these, you know, preseason All-American teams and everything. But it's, it ultimately just comes down to you do what you do that got you on that preseason list. You know, nothing really changes. You know, maybe there might be more eyes on you. You might have to... You might feel like you have to do more, but you really don't necessarily need to. Um, and I, I mean, there's always going to be pressure. Like I said, it's just going into this season. I feel like us two in particular, you know, we've we've seen, you know, the, the guys from our freshman year that were on preseason lists and, you know, guys before them and last year. And, you know, some of them did really well and some of them kind of, you know, sunk to – you know, I, I, I got to do good this game. I got to I got to do good the whole season. So I feel like just from our perspective, seeing that from a first hand, you know, teammates and friends and everything kind of just helped us to be able to relax. I think, yeah, I think I'd, I'd be lying if I said it. I didn't think about it. Um, but, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to, I do my best to stay uh, in the present and, and try to get better every day. And, and, and hopefully that doesn't like have an, have an impact, um, a negative or a positive impact. If you guys could describe your team this year in one word, what would it be like? What's different about this team? Hmm. I feel like everyone's bought in. Um, the younger guys and the older guys, um, we're all really chasing one goal. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no clicks. Um, we're we're all kind of looking at the same goal and and buying into our roles on the team. Hmm. Uh, for me, I would say uh, lead. I mean, every so we have a, we took a step forward this year. Where not only just the older guys to take to take a to take lead, but also the younger guys. So, everybody, everybody going off and trying to be a leader. Everybody, you're always just going to put out the great role model, be a role model, and just you want to have to have an older guy like show you how to do something because we have a lot of younger guys that are going to have to take the lead this year. So, I would say lead is would be the one word for me. Good. <laughs> Got a good team. <laughs> uh, I'd say probably uh, one word would be uh, undeniable. I think that's because of everything that we put into it. It's pretty undeniable, like the fact how confident we are going into the season and how we feel about going after each game one at a time um, and just making the most out of the season. Um, for me, I would say togetherness. I feel like. Even though if you have a bad game, you can trust your teammates that they'll pick you up. So be able, we're close as a family, so that really help us out a lot. Matt, how has your preparation this season been different from last season? Now you're both another year here and in a bigger role on this team. Uh, how has your preparation changed, I guess? Uh, preparation, uh, I would say we worked on a little bit of my swing change a little bit, went over that during the fall. Uh, just after having two years here, like probably was like, all right, we need to do ch change something. So, sat down with the coaches and just redevelop redeveloped the whole swing path and everything. So I would say, 
having that going into season has definitely going to prepare me well for a season. Uh, I think the coaches, I mean, they know what they're talking about, and it definitely showed uh, during the fall and the early sp- in early uh, this January. So I'd say that's the difference with my preparation. For the older guys, it's y'all been around. So what are your realistic like, expectations? Like, what do you think this team could accomplish this season? Um, I think realistically with this team that we have, um, just looking at all the talent we have, um, we are young. There's a lot of really good talent on here. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't make it to postseason. Um, you know, there are a lot of teams in our conference who are still going to be good this year and a lot of teams in our conference who were good last year that aren't going to be as good. Um, realistically, I don't see why we wouldn't make it to postseason. Yeah, I think we have a, a bunch of good arms um, who came into the program this year, and I think that's what it ultimately takes to, to go far in the season and the postseason. So I, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I'd have to agree with uh, we have really good arms, and uh, I think that they're going to take us where we need to go this year. So, yeah. You guys are playing in a pretty good conference with some pretty good teams at the top. Yeah. Um, how is that? It's hard not, you know, you want to focus on the next game, but it's hard not to look ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, how is that, How it, being in the conference with three top teams, how has that changed the way that you guys have thought about this team and about, you know, maybe lessons you want to instill in the younger guys knowing that they're going against some top talent? Um, I mean, there, there, um, there are quite a few freshmen on the team who really don't care who's in our conference and how good they are, what they've done before. They just want to, you know, win, beat them up. Um, but I mean, I mean, they're all, you know, every team's a good team. Um, and so for me personally, I'm just really excited to, you know, go back to some places that we went to our freshman year and, um, you know, like the Oregon States and everything, different atmospheres and stuff like that. And I'm just, I'm excited. And I think the freshmen, the younger guys are, Definitely excited as well. They don't really care what's on the opposing team's jersey. Yeah, I know personally. I'm I'm excited um, to play play those those top teams in the nation. Um, just and, and I know it's going to be a good experience for all the newer guys uh, coming here. And and um, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. So so I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, it's going off the cam. You want to be the best, you got to beat the best so just gotta I think it's gonna prove a lot about our team when we go in there and then also though like it is baseball so you can't really look down on the other teams too where if you do or something like that you're you end up getting beat by them so you also got to take each game and count like not, like almost that every team is a top team any more questions thank you guys